morning everybody this is Leah Klein health and wholeness coach and today my question for you is what has God put in front of you our verse is first Chronicles 28 20 then David said to Solomon his son be strong and courageous and do it do not be afraid and do not be dismayed for the Lord God, even my God, is with you. He will not leave you or forsake you until all of the work for the service of the house of the Lord is finished. And obviously our context is when Solomon was being tasked with building the temple, um, which David had wanted to do, but God said, your son's going to do it, not you. That's our context, but in our lives, what has God given you to work on? What, what project does he have put in front of you? We all have them. It might be something that seems small and insignificant, or it could be you know, something bigger. It could be something important. Uh, and sometimes we don't know the difference. Uh, we don't know how important something that's been put in front of us is. It's one of those things that we see better in hindsight frequently. <laughs> so um, if you're doing what God wants you to do in the context of our passage, he will be with you. He will give you the strength and the courage to see it through. Whether that's making changes you need to change in how you treat your body, uh, food you're giving it, exercise, building a business or ministry, or maybe both, raising your family, Anything can be something God has put in front of you for you to do. And he promises in this verse and in many others to be with us and not forsake us. And you'll find this as a recurring theme in the Old Testament, actually, because uh, it was also um, how Joshua was commissioned. Uh, and so there's in several verses connected with that where he's being told to be strong and courageous. Uh, he's taking over for Moses and rather large shoes to fill, to say the least. And he's being promised that God will be with him. And it's not, you know, just specific people. It, it does apply to believers. My call to action for you today is to ask God for his strength and claim those promises. Claim the promises that he promises to be with you and to see you through whatever situation he has specifically put you into. And to have him help you uh, with the project he's given you. Uh, because if he gives you something to do, you can expect him to provide the way of doing it as well. Now, if you're still in the camp of, I don't know what he wants me to do, uh, then ask him to show you his project for you if you're just not sure what that is. And it may be that it's something small and that's why you're not seeing it. So ask God to show you. It may be something that you don't think of as being something he's wanting you to do. And that may be where you're at right now. It may be something that seems small. So ask God to show you. Ask God to show you and ask God to be with you in it 
and provide for you because we know he can and will. So our song for today is In Christ Alone. Feel free to join in or um, listen if you prefer and we will finish off our time together. In Christ alone my hope is found. He is my light, my strength, my song. This cornerstone, this solid ground, firm through the fiercest drought and storm. What heights of love, what depths of peace, when fears are stilled, when striving cease. My comforter, my all in all, here in the love of Christ I stand. In Christ alone, who took on flesh, fullness of God in helpless babe, this gift of love and righteousness, scorned by the ones he came to save, till on that cross as Jesus died, the wrath of God was satisfied. For every sin on him was laid, here in the death of Christ I live. There in the ground his body lay, light of the world by darkness slain. Then bursting forth in glorious day, up from the grave he rose again. And as he stands in victory, sin's curse has lost its grip on me. For I am his, and he is mine, bought with the precious blood of Christ. No guilt in life, no fear in death, this is the power of Christ in me. From life's first cry to final breath, Jesus commands my destiny. No power of hell, no scheme of man can ever pluck me from his hand till he returns or calls me home. Here in the power of Christ I'll stand. Till he returns or calls me home, here in the power of Christ I'll stand. And I will see you next week.